So, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, uh, I'm on my way to work. The weather's dismal. Look at it, cloudy and grey. But here's the question: Can you tell what bike I'm on? Yeah, marvellous. Yeah, I bet you can't guess. I'll give you a moment to try and guess. Yeah, no, uh, you can't, can you? Yeah, look, it's a scooter. Yeah, I'm on the scooter. The man's back in said to us, I hear you want to go on a scooter and see what they like. Come and have a go on mine. Yeah, marvellous. And here I am doing 50 miles an hour. <laughs> marvellous. Smooth as anything. Just twist the throttle. You want to know what it is? Suzuki address. We're 110cc, something like that. Yeah, marvellous. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to work on it. See what it'd be like to commute on. I can tell you already, it feels a little bit weird to be honest. Yeah, uh, it's got Mickey Mouse mirrors. Uh, not that, oh, they're not too bad. For me, if I keep my elbows tucked in, that's fine. My feet only just fit on. So it's probably about size 11 is the, is the bike, I don't know. Uh, because it is a, a snug fit for my feet, yeah, but it's marvellous. Uh, it's got little cubby holes if you wanted to put a bedside clock in. Um, all sorts of features, which I'll show you later. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, here we are. Because it just zips along so smooth. Um, if it rains, I'll be able to tell you just how it is um, uh, uh, keeping you dry because of course it's got all this leg protection hasn't it from the weather and your feet are going to be dry could wear my posh shoes you know my work shoes and my posh shoes uh, without having to put my motorbike boots on yeah just to stay dry and clean which would be marvellous but, um, yeah, I think it's got about a top speed of about 65 miles an hour. Which, you know, for 110 cc's, so that's not bad, is it? Yeah, it doesn't weigh anything. It's, it's really quite comfy. It is, it's surprising. It's not quite the scooter I had in mind. I was thinking sort of Vespa type thing, you know, Lambretta, something like that. But I did mean these sort of scooters as well because there's quite a lot of them now isn't there and some of them have got quite big engines and they go like Billio down the A14 I've seen them I've been overtaken by them yeah when I'm in the car yeah so the brakes are actually linked So if you pull one brake, it will sort of split the, the brake in like that. That was the back brake. That goes 80% and 20% on the front. Yeah, so the link, so you pull, if I pull the front brake, it will give something like about 20% um, on the back brake as well. Uh, but it is a bit weird not having a clutch and there is a tendency to pull the back brake thinking it is the clutch and it's not and you stop you stop on a sixpence marvellous and the engine just keeps going it's probably the closest you're going to get I reckon to an electric bike because it's pretty silent I don't know if you can hear it uh, there's just a little bus underneath yeah. Um, and for little wheels I remember when we were kids my sister when me and my brother had big motorbikes my sister she had a Honda Express yeah do you remember those Honda Express little 50cc uh, uh, yeah 50cc moped um, uh, they handled terrible tiny little wheels bouncing about <laughs> a bit unstable but this feels really stable. It surprised me. 
suspension could be a bit better, a bit bouncy there over, over big hard bumps. Um, but overall, I'm really impressed. Suzuki address 110. Oh, bloody geese are coming to have a look. Oh, come on, chaps. Do you mind if I just go? I'm not another geese just because I'm white. Marvellous, thank you. There you go, geese. Geese wanted to come and have a look. <laughs> it's that all year motorcyclist. What the hell is he on now? That's what they were saying. Yeah. Um, the features on it, just splendiferous. You can lock the ignition so that people can't get screwed out of it. Yeah. And it's got a compartment under the seat. You can get a helmet in by the looks, full face helmet. Oh, you're shopping. Um, in this one, there's also uh, a shoelace for tying on Easter eggs. If you went Easter egg shopping, apparently, that's what I was told uh, by the Mars Bar Kid. Yeah, marvellous. Um, but packed with little features. However, I don't know how much these are, and I don't think they're particularly cheap. I'm not sure, uh, but I'd be surprised if you got any change from three grand. And at three grand, you're only a few hundred pounds from uh, a Royal Enfield. Yeah, a new Royal Enfield. Um, of course, <laughs> you wouldn't have the same features. You wouldn't have that twist and go throttle. Um, but this might be a way of getting Mrs. All Year Motorcycling motorcycling. Yeah. Marvellous. So this is a bit of a surprise. It's a surprise for me. Uh, uh, and it'll be a surprise for you. Yeah, me. In my full leathers and stuff. On a moped. Marvellous. Um, centre stand so light you don't have to touch the bike just put your foot down and stand hard on it and it pops up onto the centre stand yeah I know I'm laughing a lot because um, I'm not laughing at it I'm laughing at how bloody good it is yeah marvellous yeah I think you need to take it a little bit steady Mars Bar Kid rags it turns him into a hooligan and so it's actually got a name, yeah, it's called Asbo, yeah, he's called it Asbo because he reckons he's going to end up with one if, uh, if he's not careful, yeah, he says it's got, the throttle's got two operations, tick over and full, and that's it, well, I'm not giving it full throttle, I'm riding it sensible, because I'm a sensible sort of chap, I'm also videoing it, so I can't go too mad, can I? Uh, it'd be used as evidence against me. Yeah, <laughs> marvellous. Um, there are some clowns who do video their antics, aren't they? And, uh, and, uh, and, that, and then they do get caught. <laughs> yeah, marvellous. Um, but here we are, 50 miles an hour, no trouble whatsoever. I'm six foot two gangly and a little bit heavy I might say heavier than I want to be at the moment I'd like to lose a stone just so you know some people are interested in that sort of thing yeah um, we're doing 50 I'm a, it feels like I'm on about half throttle but I don't know uh, no, I'm on about three quarters throttle um, and you can see bumpy old Suffolk Road into Bury it's fine not a lot of engine braking, uh, but the brakes, <laughs> red hot, but of course it's got to be because it's twist and go. Marvellous, and I do believe it is a little bit rainy, so I'll be interested to see how wet I am. <laughs> and then he went over the bars, he said be careful pulling, pulling the <laughs> back brake. And there I did, I went straight for it, I went straight for the clutch. I want the clutch, it's the back brake. <laughs> Nearly went over the handlebars. Marvellous. But, yeah, I don't know. There's some other traffic going out. And, yeah, that traffic's coming. So, look. Little cubby holes down here. Thing to hang your shopping. You could hang your shopping on there. Or your phone. You could even hang your phone. Uh, because there's nowhere to put a watch. 
you've got to have a bedside clock. Do you remember that uh, a subscriber sent me a picture of his, and that was a Suzuki address, yeah. Um, and he had a, a bedside clock with elastic band round to keep the battery in. Oh, listen to that engine there. And then I've got to try and fit my feet back in. <laughs> yeah, it's like putting shoes on. Take your feet off. Marvellous. But could I do this? Yeah. I mean, I don't know how many miles to the gallon it does, but I bet it's a fair amount. Um, if I, I'll, I'll ask him when I find out. I don't even know how much fuel there is. Oh, yeah, it's full. It's full. He filled it up for me. He wants me to go to Edinburgh on it, I think. Marvellous. Yeah, so this is very different, isn't it? So, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. And um, ah, I can't post this straight away because normally I'd get to work and I'd just post this as a video. Um, so this is going to have to be my Friday mutter. This is my Friday mutter. It's a Friday review. Marvellous. Um, because I want to do some... Uh, obviously I've got to do some pictures around it and I, don't, I, I just don't have time right now. Just don't have time. Yeah, so we're on to... Um, uh, on to a general mutter, I guess. I'm almost at work though, of course. So maybe we just leave it there oh no I can't I'll tell you why I can't because there's something I've got to show you um, yeah so I was I was look, just looking for a clock there's no clock so it's obviously another vehicle that doesn't really want to be confined by space or time um, And uh, it hasn't got that bedside clock in there, the lamp clock. So, a bit stuffed really. But, someone commented about something that they'd observed that I never mentioned, and they were quite surprised that I mentioned the dogs having a pool. Um, and people and beach balls things like that and yet there is one item I do not mention and he th he thought it was wrong of me not to mention it and he thinks I should uh, give it a mention and say hello yeah so that's what I'm gonna do it's not far down here so um, You'll just have to wait. All right, it's all right for you. You won't have to wait because I'll just cut it out. Yeah, <laughs> marvelous. Right, so you'll, you know, a lot of you will know my journey into into work, into Bury, and I come down here uh, just about every morning. Sometimes vary it a little bit, um, and just down here, I'm going to let this car out. I'm just going to pull over here because here it's a giraffe yeah look at that what do you reckon ladies and gentlemen a giraffe marvellous yeah, resting his chin so good morning giraffe um, hope you're alright sorry for ignoring you previously but now you're on YouTube Hope it makes up for it. Marvellous. So yeah, so there you go, what do you reckon? A giraffe in Bury St Edmunds. Now, the acceleration on this is not fun dabby dozy. It's more um, nice. Yeah, <laughs> it's got nice acceleration, smooth. Um, at least to get going out of that sort of situation but uh, the mouth back kid suggested it that might be because I'm a bit of a heavy lump <laughs> yeah and I think he might be right uh, if you're a little lightweight jockey type person 
they'd probably pull away zip zap just gone now I don't know what time it is but I do know that I am late for work um, but there you go can't help it if buses keep pulling out and blocking the road yeah so I hope you've enjoyed this little um, uh, review uh, commute mute type thing that I'm doing right now um, I will finish it off when I finish work I'm gonna go down here oh that's marvellous isn't it it's just splendiferous once you get used to the braking it really is simple the other thing to remember is that you've got to slide your feet in if you've got big feet and I've got big feet well I don't know do you think size 11's big feet yeah I suppose it probably is isn't it it's getting towards it I think I've only ever known one other person um, who had like size 12 or 13 as <laughs> they were like boats you could have sailed them yeah marvellous so uh, what do I think of it so far what do I think of it I'm impressed I am yeah I mean it goes it goes so well could you go towing on it you probably could <laughs> yeah I don't know how reliable they are or anything like that but 110 cc's Um, if you're doing 50 miles an hour all the time I don't know how long that engine would last um, but it's Suzuki it'll probably last quite a while oh we've got a wacky bike in front oh you're not going to be able to see because of the car so ladies and gentlemen here I am yeah uh, part two of my review of the Suzuki address yeah <laughs> oh, kindly lent to me by the Mars Bar Kid yeah marvellous um, I'll do, what I'll do is I'll do a little walk round of it um, he has sent me his own review of it um, and what I'll do is I'll put, I'll put that I'll get a, make sure he's alright for me to do that and I'll put his review in words in the description yeah because he's spot on with it it is um, a lot of fun um, and probably really really practical I know it's crazy isn't it uh, but I have thoroughly enjoyed riding it um, and it is good for commuting I mean <laughs> it's, it's very hard to fault um, it makes me giggle um, it doesn't give me the same sort of it's not I guess well I guess it is a sort of therapy really but <laughs> I was gonna say it's not the, the therapist that um, uh, Bertie is um, and you certainly don't get that feeling of power that you get from um, the bigger motorbikes but do you know what it ain't bad it ain't bad it's tiny um, and I can see as a mode of transport you know if you've got a car and you live in town or close to town and you work work in town um, then you would save an absolute fortune um, I don't know how much it, how much they cost or even if they still make them I assume they do but I know the bigger the bigger ones they cost a lot of money um, and as good as they are I think I would rather have my motorbike to be honest um, but I don't want that to distract from how brilliant this is um, it really is 
and as soon as I get somewhere decent um, I'll do a little walk around so I might disappear now for a bit um, the funny thing is I know it's only 110 cc's but it doesn't even sound 110 cc's to be honest <laughs> I would certainly try some more that's for sure it certainly perked my interest um, but I'm not sure it'd be anything that I have any feeling for yeah get enjoyment from it yeah I mean you can tell from the fact that I don't stop laughing all the time I'm riding it and I don't know why that is I don't know why it is <laughs> but um, is it because I don't take it seriously as, as a mode of transport it's just fun dabby dozy it really is fun dabby dozy let me get my visor shut yeah marvellous what I'm going to do up here uh, I'm going to pull over and do a little walk around yeah marvellous you can actually see it shining in this sunshine so here we are flight training yeah see that flight training marvellous So, there we go ladies and gentlemen, what do you reckon? Suzuki address, 110 cc's I think, it's marvellous isn't it? Look at that, <laughs> it's great, yeah, Mickey Mouse mirrors, no handlebars, just that, I don't know what you call it, uh, and grips, yeah, throttle, back brake, front brake, I mean under here big hole here yeah you can get your helmet in or you could get your loaf of bread uh, your t tea cakes and some milk yeah marvellous um, yeah centre stand <laughs> you notice centre stand yeah it's got a centre stand most motorbikes don't have that little cubby hole in here do you remember that picture uh, that I got sent in from a subscriber? He's got one. He has an alarm clock in there with an elastic band round telling the time. Fuel gauge. It's marvellous. Brakes. The joint. You pull one, other one goes as well. 20%. 80-20 I think it is. I think that's what he said. It's absolutely marvellous. That BMW Z4, he looked at me funny. Don't blame him. Probably thinks I'm one of those scooter boys that goes around robbing people. Might be for all he knows. Yeah. But that's it. So, off we go. <laughs> oh, and we're off. Yeah. Size 11 Suzuki address. And then we're off. Now, it's only done a thousand miles. I don't know what that means. But I do know that he rags it. Yeah, he does. Look at it, through those twists and turns. Marvellous. So, anyway, a really nice introduction to the world of scooters, I think, and it certainly got my interest up, and I'll certainly be looking to do some more. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Marvellous. Uh, I don't think it's my long-term motorbike, and I don't think it's... Um, uh, oh, damn, I forgot about these. I don't think it's the bike I'm searching for in my quest, the perfect bike for me, though there's probably a few 
viewers out there thinking yeah, what are you on about you're bonkers it's the perfect bike for you <laughs> yeah i know well that's as maybe i don't know but uh so there you go hope you've enjoyed this uh mutter and review uh test ride of my mate the mars bar kid his uh suzuki address 110 cc i think yeah I don't, the, the think bit isn't part of the title of it it's just that's what I think it is yeah marvellous